Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a fun episode today because I'm going to be doing a complete review of my stay at the Park Hyatt in New York City. I'm going to talk about the property itself, we're going to talk about the food, beverages, a room tour, and everything in between. So there's a lot of areas to cover here. Before we get started, if you do find this helpful, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. So when it comes to location, this one's pretty good, all right, for the Broadway shows that we attended. This was about a 20 to 25 minute walk from the Broadway area. It's also located near the very high end shopping experiences that you would expect in New York City on Fifth Avenue. So that would be like your Burberry, Louis Vuitton stores. It's also near Trump Tower as well. So there's a lot of really nice places to go shop and look around just within minutes of here. There's also a Nordstrom store for men's and then a separate one for women's just a block or so away. So again, very good shopping close by. And they also have a rotating art show here in the lobby. As you go through the lobby and you go down the first hallway here, you'll see rotating art displays uh, that come through every so often. And this one had some pretty unique stuff while we were there. They give you a nice brochure up front when you check in to tell you what kind of art is available on the property at any given time. And then also this art is rotated through in one of their dining areas called the living room. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But if you like art, you've got some good eye candy here as you go down the hallway. And moving into the lobby, you can see we are right across the street from Carnegie Hall. And I really like this location too because the traffic, even for New York City, isn't that bad in this area. When I think of congested traffic and really bad traffic noise, you think of Times Square in that area, but this is nowhere near that. So it's a little bit quieter, at least by New York City standards. The property itself never felt overcrowded. You can see here in the main lobby right across the hallway from the check-in area is a seating area where you can grab a computer. You can sit down and take a break for a little bit or if you're waiting for your room to get ready, you can certainly uh, just sit here and take a break. In terms of paying for the room here, we did have a category one through seven free night certificate for meeting 60 tier qualifying nights with the World of Hyatt program. And then we also paid 30,000 points per night out of our World of Hyatt account. So we were able to stay here at no cost, just points and free night certificates. This property is a category seven. It has since moved to a category eight after we booked. This is really important, all right? So this is the mask they give you when you check in. It's individually wrapped and you'll have some of these in your room and you'll see that in the room tour in just a second. But the reason it's important is because Kayla was convinced that she rode an elevator at the Park Hyatt with Olivia Wilde, who is Harry Styles' girlfriend. And I didn't believe her at first until we saw paparazzi photos of her actually walking around New York City with her Park Hyatt mask on, the same one that you see here. And she got off on the elevator one floor above us. We stayed in room 1904 and uh, she got out on the 20th floor and I know he was in town for a concert. So who knows, Harry Styles probably heard my wife singing his songs on the floor below him, but anyway. Also on this main level where you check in, you'll find the living room. Now I didn't get full footage of this because there were a lot of people sitting around and I didn't want to disrupt people's meals, but here's the bar area. It is very well stocked with some unique bourbons, even including Pappy Van Winkle for a price around 160 or $170 for a shot, but totally worth it, I'm assuming. I didn't pay that much but I'm sure some of you have. Let me know if it's worth that much money. The cocktails were very unique. This is one I had pretty much every day and it was called corn. And I'm gonna open up the menu here so you can see exactly what this looks like. But I was very impressed with the cocktail menu and we were here for a few days. So let's just say I took advantage of some of these and tried a few out myself. The basil was also very good. It had prosciutto fat washed gin. And when you think about that, it sounds horrible, but it's not as bad as you think. It's actually very, very good. And I'll show you a video of that in just a second. And the bar snacks, everything was really good. Let me go ahead and recommend one thing, and that is the truffle Parmesan fries. We literally had these every day that we were here, and I am not joking, all right? Again, video of that coming up in just a second. But the basil and the corn were two that we really leaned in on. The basil is a very creamy cocktail. The corn just being a very good bourbon cocktail. So if I had to pick out of the cocktail menu, I would try those two. And here is the prosciutto fat wash gin. All right, it's a very creamy drink. But again, I would recommend this one. It's a unique flavor. And that's what I really liked about this cocktail menu in general was everything was just very unique and the bartenders were very knowledgeable about what they were making. 
And I'm putting this QR code up here if you wanna scan this with your phone. You can certainly do that and see what kind of menu is available in terms of the snacks and the cocktails that are available in the living room. Now here is a glorious shot of these fries. I'm not kidding, at least once a day we grab these. And they're a great snack if you're just trying to grab something real quick before you go to a Broadway show. Just do that. I do want to say this for my audience. I wanted to make sure I gave you a good review of all the food. So I think we literally ordered one of everything on the snack bar menu. Actually, we ordered quite a bit, including this gigantic burger, the pork belly sliders. There was a lot of food. Shishito peppers, sushi, and again, some more of the Parmesan fries. I had a lot of food here, but it was very, very good. These shishito peppers had something on them. I think they were... I think it was like cheese shavings or something, but it kept moving. My wife was convinced there was an animal in our peppers. That was not the case. That's just part of the dish. But you can see here, this isn't just hotel food. This is really good food that you would expect at a really nice restaurant. And let me know, is that an animal in there or is that just part of the dish? I don't know, it's moving, it's alive. Just fair warning, the burger that they give you, we weren't aware that it was a double burger with a portobello mushroom in the center. We thought it was a single burger patty. So you could definitely share that with someone. We did get free breakfast since we are high globalists. And as part of the breakfast, you get one cold drink, one hot drink, and then one entree each morning. And this includes the cold pressed juices. We really like these. This is the lobster scramble, and I'll just go ahead and tell you this straight up. When you think of a lobster scramble for breakfast, you probably think they're going to skimp on the lobster. No, you can see the giant lobster claw in there, and then underneath, there's even more lobster. They do not skimp on the lobster if you like that. The European breakfast is gigantic. It does not look like a breakfast meal, but this is what I got, and it stuffed me, to say the least. Again, free because we're high globalists. This is a more traditional breakfast. I actually preferred this one a little bit more. They have different types of sausages. They have pork and chicken, and then your choice of eggs. And they have several other different options, including parfaits and things like that. So there are plenty of different options when it comes to food in the living room. Moving on to something that's really unique in New York City properties, and that is the swimming pool. This pool was very clean, very nice, and I really don't have anything negative to say about this one. There's actually a lifeguard on duty at all times here at the pool, so it's very family friendly. If you do have kids, there is a lifeguard on duty. It's only four to four and a half feet deep, so nothing dramatic. I did ask what the water temperature was. They said they keep it at 86, so it's a very warm pool. It's a salt water pool as well and everything's enclosed in this one pool and hot tub area. I did see some people swimming laps in here, but for the most part, it was just families and kids playing in here. It never felt overcrowded. The seats were never completely full, so there was always somewhere to sit. And then as you're walking around looking for a seat, you can see the city view out there. Again, this is something unique to this specific property, and I can't recommend the pool enough. The views are great, even if you're just standing around. And if you wanna get a different view, this is the view from the hot tub. And let me say this, this hot tub is legitimately hot. You know, a lot of hotel hot tubs have it turned down to like 99 or 100 degrees on the hot tub because they don't want anybody to get hot. This one stayed at a constant 102 degrees and the jets were actually pretty aggressive in some spots and not as aggressive in others. So to me, this is what a hot tub should be. It should be hot number one, and there are plenty of places to sit as well. So you can see where the jets are kind of pumping there, there's a little bench to sit on, but towards the back where it says three feet deep there, um, in the black lettering off the white, there's actually a really deep bench for sitting if you wanna do that, and that's where I was sitting to get that view of the city from the hot tub. And if you do need to towel off, there's always plenty of water around, and the towels are stored in here as well. So if you forget your water up in your room, don't worry about it, they've got you covered here as well. And you may need it because when you go into the sauna, it's 115 degrees and it is steamy. I mean steamy, all right? I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to crank this one up to 11, or just the highest setting, and go in. I did this for you, that way you can see exactly what's going on in here. It looks like something out of a scary movie. It's not, it's just a steam room. And off to the left-hand side, once I take a seat here on the bench, off to the left-hand side, you can't really see it. There's actually a shower where you can rinse off with some cooler water 
while you're in the steam room. So if you're starting to suffocate a little bit in here and things are getting a little steamy, you can actually rinse in the shower there and cool off just a little bit. Moving on up to the gym, you know, I love gyms and hotels because they're rarely visited and it always looks completely clean because I never hardly see anybody in these places. This one's really nice because it overlooks part of Central Park and you can see it there through the window. Central Park is about a block and a half away or so. So it's really easy to go for a run or a walk through Central Park from this property. Again, making it a very good destination because the location is good for so many different things in a less congested area of New York City. And they've got all kinds of stuff in here, okay? They got free weights, they've got machines, they've got these things on the wall for stretching. I don't know what these things are, but they look really important and really fancy. And it looks like the people that are on the screens are doing things that would bring me to my knees out of pain. But it's something that you can do. If you do have a Peloton account or you like to use Peloton products, they've got those here as well so you can connect to your Peloton account and do your ride. And there's just a lot of different options. And again, because it's a gym and it's at a hotel, it never feels really crowded because who's really working out when they're going on vacation? If you are, let me know down in the comments because you are a better person than I am. And as you look out at some of this weight equipment, you'll also be able to overlook the pool area. So if you have some family down at the pool while you're getting a workout, hey, you can wave to them and say hello. And after a hard workout, who doesn't need a chilled towel? I had to know exactly what the temperature was on these things and it looks like it's 34 degrees. That should cool you off. There is also a salon and spa located on the same level as the swimming pool and just one floor down from the gym. So if you did wanna get away and pamper yourself a little bit, there is a huge area back here and the people here were very, very friendly. It depends on what kind of experience you're looking for on vacation. If you just wanna stick around the property get you a workout and then get a spa treatment or get a hair treatment, then you've got a place to do it right on site. So we stayed in room 1904 and we'll do a quick room tour here. When you first come in, one of our favorite parts was having two separate closets. My wife doesn't like to share a lot of space, so the fact that we had our own closets was very helpful. They do give you each your own individual slippers and bathrobe as well and you just have a lot of room to keep things separate and it just keeps things from getting messy or getting the clothes confused and stuff like that because let's face it, sometimes the clothes lay around and things get mixed up. This prevents that. One thing I do want to mention in the bathroom is the floors are heated and we notice this immediately. When you cross that threshold into the bathroom, the floor is heated. The bathtub itself is very nice. It included bath salts that were on the rack there and the bathtub was fantastic according to my wife. She checked it out and thoroughly enjoyed it, so she gives it two thumbs up, and they replenish those bath salts every day. And these products I do wanna mention real quick. So they actually gave us a coupon to get a free perfume sampler from the company that makes all of these soaps and the shampoos and conditioners that were in the room, and that's just an agreement that the Park Hyatt has. So if you do stay at the Park Hyatt, you make sure that you get your coupon for a sampler of that. They give you five, small samples of perfume from that location. It's about 20 minutes away from the Park Hyatt, and it's about a $30 value because each of those samples runs about $6, so they give you a coupon for that for free. It's also worth mentioning that you'll get other coupons as well, one for a free two-hour bike rental uh, near Central Park, and you'll also get a coupon for a free drink at Nordstrom at their coffee bar, and I was able to get a large lemonade drink. Kayla got a large coffee drink, and all you have to do is present that coupon that's given to you at the Park Hyatt, and you'll get a free drink, and it's only like two or three minutes away. So for a quick free drink before you go shopping around the area, it's not a bad deal. And then at the bottom part of the sink, you also have things like mouthwash, shower cap, nail care, sanitary bags, dental kit, hairbrush. They pretty much take care of everything that you could possibly think of if you forgot to bring something. And behind door number one on the left-hand side, you've got your toilet. Of course, you need a seat there in case you wanna bring a friend in with you and a telephone in case you want to talk to your friend on the phone as they're sitting in the chair while you're on the toilet makes perfect sense to me. Now moving on, there is a seat in here and there's a really nice rainfall shower. You also have a regular shower head as well. And I took at least two showers in here a day. There were some days where I took three just because I loved it so much. 
There's an anti-fog mirror in here, so the center of the mirror will not fog up no matter how steamy it gets. So if you wanted to shave your face in the shower, you could do that. I actually tried that once and it worked out really well. Big fan of the shower, huge thumbs up on that. And then coming out onto the heated floor, it's definitely a winner. And there's just a view. You have another mirror that's gonna be right across from the snack area. Now these snacks are gonna cost you some money, all right? They're putting Woodford Reserve bourbon up there. That is not free, just so you know, all right? So if you're taking any extra snacks out of here, you will be charged for it. However, you'll see in just a second, you'll get some free waters in the room every day. And speaking of everyday service in the room, you do get housekeeping service in the morning and then they have a turn down and cleaning service in the evening as well. You don't have to call and request it. They just do it. And I absolutely love that because it seems like so many places are starting to skimp on that. And the fact that they still do it, it's a good thing. And Kayla likes it, right? So here's the workstation for our anniversary. This was our wedding anniversary trip. They put out some chocolate covered strawberries with golden flakes on top. I guess that makes it taste better. I don't know, Kayla ate all of them. I didn't get a single one, but I'm assuming they're good. You do get the Voss waters um, every single day. So if you wanna do check those out, you get those every day. And here is the bed. Let me just say this straight up. I've slept in a lot of hotel rooms, slept on a lot of hotel beds. For whatever reason, this bed was so comfortable and I have a hard time sleeping in hotel rooms, all right? I travel a lot, but I really have a hard time sleeping not the case here. And as High Globalist, we did get upgraded to a city view room. So you can see traffic's not too bad. This is right in the middle of the day. This is probably around one or two o'clock. Traffic's not crazy by any means. But just going back to the bed again, it's a little firmer than I thought I would have liked, but it is so incredibly comfortable. I absolutely loved it. That big screen TV does swivel out so you can get a better view if you're watching TV in bed as well. And then no matter how old I get, there's something about the buttons that open up the drapes and the sheer shades that just amazes me. And I know it is completely stupid, but sometimes I have the mind of a 10 year old and I just think it's really cool to be able to hit a button and drop the shades and close the curtains. Let me know if you have the same fascination down in the comments below. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the weird one here, and if that's the case, I'm okay with it. I'm comfortable with who I am, and I still love it, and will continue to do it at every hotel that offers this. It's also worth mentioning that housekeeping does refill your ice bucket for you every single day. So in the evening when you want a fresh ice water, you have got it right here and I absolutely love that. And in terms of in-room dining, there are a lot of different options. First, some out of the room dining, I guess I should say. There's the option for picnic in the park. Now picnic in the park is exactly what you would think it is. They will give you a picnic basket and a blanket and you can go over to Central Park, which was a block or so away, and have a picnic. And there are different options for this depending on how much you wanna spend, but hey, how often do you get to have a picnic basket lunch in Central Park? If you got the money, go for it. It sounds like a lot of fun. We just didn't have time to do it on this specific trip, but if you got the money, do it. It looks like a lot of fun and the food looks really good. And just to give you an idea, here's some other screenshots of the different foods you can get through room service. Overall, we really enjoyed our trip to the Park Hyatt, New York. One thing I would say, I wish that there were more food options on site. My favorite parts overall were the cocktails, the truffle fries, and then the bed was absolutely amazing. I haven't slept that good in a hotel room in a long time. And the location you cannot beat for shopping, for less traffic noise, and for convenience to Central Park. It had a lot going for it. So would I recommend staying here? Yes, I would love to go back here. It was a lot of fun. And if you have any questions about the property itself, let me know down in the comments. We were there, I explored the entire building. Would be happy to answer anything you have. If you did find this video helpful or mildly entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications for alerts. And when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, you are gonna get the latest information on credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, finance, and everything in between. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. We'll see you soon.